Hello there, good to see you. So here's a question for you. What do you think is the most requested, the number one most asked about and commented on feature is when we do a new drone review on this channel? Well, today we have a really interesting drone and it focuses on delivering this function in a simple, elegant, and minimalist way. And that function is, wait, you didn't think I was talking about this drone here, sorry. Though you gotta admit, this is a sexy looking alien drone's green color though, right? But no, we're talking not about this drone, but about this drone. So let's dive in, shall we? So the number one feature we hear about that can make or break a drone is the follow mode. And the brand new Hover Air drone from Zero Robotics attempts to provide this in the simplest and most straightforward way. And of course, there's some additional functions that it has, but its main focus is to provide you, the creator, the best product for those times when you want the camera pointed at you rather than pointed away from you. And a quick disclaimer before we start, this video is not sponsored by Hover Air. They did send me this drone to evaluate, but no money changed hands. They did not get to view or approve this video or change any of the content. So as always, the views presented here are my own honest impressions after using the product. So let's land this here so we can take a quick look at what we're talking about. So this is the Hover Air, which they actually call a flying camera, not a drone. And even though it makes me look good, it does this all by itself so anyone can do it. And it launches just as easy and we'll show that in a bit when we test out some of the flight modes. So to be honest, when I first saw the Hover Air, I thought it was kind of gimmicky and I thought it was just going to be a little cheap toy. It's going to fly around for a few minutes and then go flying off into a tree or bouncing off of something and be broken. How good can something be that's this light, uh, even for B-roll, right? And as I mentioned that it's light, uh, one of the things you do notice is that it's really small and light, comes in at 125 grams. And I didn't say 250 grams, I said 125 grams. So that's half the weight of what even the smaller DJI type drones are. And it drops into a pocket or a bag pretty easily. The entire prop cage keeps the prop safe and your finger safe too. And it makes it much more likely to be able to survive a crash without damaging things as well. It has a 12 megapixel camera with a video resolution of 2.7K at 30 frames per second. And this is identical to the DJI Mini to SE and this also has a mechanical gimbal with EIS to keep the image stable. There isn't obstacle avoidance on it again just like some of the lower DJI models but they do say they use advanced tracking algorithms to track the subject and we're going to test this in the follow mode and take a look at this from above to see how it acts compared to a more traditional drone so make sure you stick around for that. You'll also notice the simplicity of the remote. Wait Where's the remote? Oh yeah, there is no remote. This is fully autonomous. Once you press the button, it takes care of everything yourself. So you're really not flying it, which raises the question, do FAA rules for drones really apply? Hmm. They wanted to make this simple to use. And indeed it's pretty quick and easy. There's only two buttons on this flying camera, the on off button and the mode button. You turn it on by pressing the main button for two seconds, unfold the drone, Hold it in your palm, then short press the mode button to select the mode you want to fly in, which it announces really loud, by the way, in kind of an English voice. Hover. Hover. Zoom out. Follow. Follow. Orbit. Orbit. Bird eye. Custom. Dolly track. And there is a little advanced setup that you can do by connecting the app. Then once you set the mode, all you have to do is short press that power button and it'll do the rest. Continue. Hover. In the hover mode, the hover air stays in a static position but rotates to keep the subject in frame. The zoom out mode gradually raises up and out, kind of like a droney mode. It's nice to see that in all of these modes that it will return to the start point once it's done. Standard. Follow. The follow mode is one I see being the most popular. It simply follows you from the front or the back and the way it follows is by kind of following your path as you move, which does help avoid obstacles along the way. It also does a good job at staying locked on the subject, I think better than most drones actually. And we'll see that in a bit when I had some energetic kids try it out 
Let's see if they could lose it. The orbit mode is similar to what we're used to with an orbit mode as it steadily orbits around the subject and you can set it for different heights and distances while using the app. The bird eye raises straight up and captures the overhead view, and I think this would be really helpful to get an establishing shot to use for B-roll. And before I forget, if you are enjoying this video so far, don't forget to hit that like button, really appreciate it. And if you're not enjoying this video, make sure you hit that dislike button twice. That'll show me. Standard Dolly Track. Now, one of the things also that I thought was pretty innovative is that when you're doing your moves, this is actually set up so that it can record through your device. And while it records through your device, it will remove the prop noise, which this thing is about six feet in front of me right now. And the noise is really kind of an obnoxious noise. It's really kind of that high pitch B sound. So for it to be able to go in and take this off while we're actually recording is pretty slick if you're out vlogging for instance and you want to talk about what you're doing and post right away this will allow you to do that now i do have a lawnmower man out here and those of you who are familiar to the channel know who lawnmower man is right now we have a lawnmower going and we have the drone itself buzzing just a few feet in front of my face and you tell me does it sound okay uh, is it removing the prop noise pretty good is it something that you could use uh, because again this is zero effort it's automatic i think it's a pretty cool feature if it works and sounds okay this is something i think i could give to a novice user a kid somebody who's never even touched a drone before and they could be flying and recording in a matter of five minutes tops so i decided to put my theory to the test with a few real world follow situations and first have some kids who were unfamiliar with this drone to give it a try and see how easy it is for them to simply get it in the air and then to test the follow mode a bit more than a leisurely walk like I was doing here. So to test this, I lined up a group of sugar-filled kids to see what would happen. And not only were they able to get it in the air with minimal instruction, but they gave the follow mode a good test by running around and trying to lose it. And even if they were able to quickly move out of its view until it lost them, as soon as they came back into view of the camera, it would reacquire and continue to follow until they stopped and put their hand out and let it land. Something to note is that there were a lot of obstacles around too, and it did a really good job at following the person's path without crashing. And everyone had a lot of fun trying this, all the way down to the youngest around three years old. So this was a really successful test of how simple this product is to use, and a testament on how robust this product and the programming is. So my overall thoughts of this drone, compared to what I thought it would be when I first looked at it, are overall pretty positive. It's a super simple yet capable drone that's really light and portable, and honestly, it does a pretty good job. I think it's also more robust than a typical drone in that if you crash the hover air, these nice prop guards will keep you out of trouble in that they will bounce, deform, things like that without damaging things the first time. Now, if you had a regular gimbal drone, let's just say like the DJI Mini 2, which now they're calling the 4K, and you bounced it off a tree or bumped it on a few things or dropped it, you probably would sustain damage at least to a prop, if not an arm, or probably the gimbal. It's a pretty delicate thing. Even the ability to have the follow mode at all, that's a pretty good thing because a lot of the smaller drones, especially like the DJI Mini 2 or now the 4K and the Mini 2 SE, for instance, don't have a follow mode at all. It's gone. Again, for those of you who say, well, it doesn't have obstacle avoidance, that's why. Well, this doesn't have obstacle avoidance. It follows really, really well. I'd even say better in some regards than a gimbal drone. As far as some of the negatives, of course, nothing's perfect and nothing really that you wouldn't expect from something that's just kind of small and compact. Like it doesn't have the 4K video, it only has 2.7K. Again, that's like the DJI Mini 2 SE and that will work probably just fine for most of the things you're going to use it for. Also, the wind resistance is fairly low. So I did notice a couple times, even though I had maybe a five mile an hour wind at times, it did push it around pretty heavily. The wind, because it's so light, it's going to get pushed around. There's nothing you can do about that. 
Another thing that's a negative is that the prop sound is kind of loud and it's an annoying pitch. It's that kind of angry bee pitch, which really irritates people that are around you, to be honest. And it's really cool that they did take that prop sound out when they're doing the recording. So you can vlog and it will take that sound out, which is really cool. But if you're around other people, you're gonna annoy the heck out of them. So uh, a little bit of a negative uh, from that perspective. And lastly, of course, the price. Now, this is coming in at $429 for the basic single battery package and $479 for the combo package with multiple batteries. But I did see that Amazon right now has an $80 off coupon. And that brings it down to the 350 mark for the standard and about 400 for the combo, which is better. I would say if the size, portability, and simplicity of something like this is really important to you, then this may be right up your alley. Of course, I'll leave links below so you can take a look at more details if you like. I hear that there's been some flash deals going on recently, and if you can get another $50 off or $100 off sometime, that would put it into the $250, $300 range, and I think it's a steal for that. I think it does a really good job. There's a lot of technology in this. I'm gonna be using this for B-roll on some of the videos that I do in the future, so keep an eye out for that because I think it's just so quick and easy uh, to do that I think you're gonna be able to get a lot of nice angles, especially for soul creators like myself. When I don't have a crew out here to help me, uh, this is really gonna be nice. Just pop this thing up, put it in the air, take a few videos and uh, be done. Put it back in my pocket and be done. So those are my honest thoughts, but of course I want to hear what you have to say. So drop your comments below. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time to be here. I really appreciate you. Until next time, good flying.